Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Burka Kudash. My double honors to the apostles and elders of the Great of Great Millstone, GMS, who taught me this truth, which is the hundred percent truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth. You know pushing his gospel in his last days. Shalom also to the few aquats who are sincerely seeking his truth, to the brother Yaraya Yashar Allah from the GMS Italy camp. And as I said, I was going to do a part two to the previous video you just saw. This is the part two. So just to give us a, a, a quick summary of this video, you know, I said the title of the video anyway is, you know, pictures tell us a thousand words. You know which this is the first the first segment and we're going down to the second segment now so as you see i said this is this person locked behind the bars represents jake the sons of jacob yashar allah you know and the, the bars represents the powers that be the powers that are ruling in this kingdom now which is esau edom the so-called white man you know then the bread represents that which these people have to offer, which this satisfy you know your flesh just for some hours. Then you're back again to ask for the same thing. Whereas Jake has the option of you know getting this key, in which this key represents you know the bread, but it is the bread of life. This is just an illusion of bread but this is the real bread right here so you should go watch the part one to understand better what i mean in which this key represents the truth you know and this stick this rod that he has in his hand represents his chances you know so it is easier for him to fetch this key you know the key goes uh, the stick goes through the 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 the, the, the all of the key and it drags it close to him but jake goes all extra miles to get this bread and just, that's just what's going on in the society today. We go extra miles to become the best athletes. We go extra miles to become um, the, 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 the highest paid whatever, to go through all different careers, to make as much money as we, as we can, you know, all in order to feed our flesh, you know. But then the truth is just right at the corner right there, staring at you easy to get easy to fetch but you ignore it jake prefers to go to other doctrines that are very very hard and difficult that has nothing that satisfies the spirit doctrines of men like kabbalah and all that bs like that you know but the, the easier truth that's just right there is simple and it's just easy to grab which is the key to to unlock him from this prison and finds himself jake ignores you know so that's the first point and the second was you know this in which it's still the same thing actually you know jake wants to go for the paper man but he doesn't care about his life in order for him to get to that paper he needs to go through this and this is going to get you hooked up on this then it takes you elsewhere in which you would need marcus to continue living you know which is the mob so that's the first segment you know you should go watch the other video i did to get you know the full breakdown and now we get into the second segment which is this i'm going to play this video then we're going to you know now this segment actually i want to speak about the powers that be those who are putting this bait you know you know those who got jake locked behind the bars which the bars represents the power so we want to speak about who they are, in which you already know. I already told you that's Esau Edom, you know, the so-called white man that's in power today. Uh, let's go. People who are trying to make this world worse are not taking a day off. How can I? The people... The Rothschilds bought Reuters in the 1800s. Reuters then bought the Associated Press which selects and delivers the same news stories to the entire world, day after day. They have controlling interest in three major television networks, 
and easily avoid media attention since they own it. Until recently, they owned and operated England's Royal Mint and continue to be the gold agent for the Bank of England, which they also direct. They also fix the world price of gold on a daily basis and profit from its ups and downs. Over the centuries, the Rothschilds have amassed trillions of dollars worth of gold bullion in their subterranean vaults and have cornered the world's gold supply. They own controlling interest in the world's largest oil company, Royal Dutch Shell. They operate phony charities and offshore banking services where the wealth of the black nobility and the Vatican is hidden in secret accounts. The Rothschilds accounts at Rothschild Swiss banks, trusts, and holding companies. Although Evelyn Rothschild looks like a harmless gray-haired old man, make no mistake about it, Rothschild and his ancestors have hand-picked presidents, crashed stock markets, bankrupted nations, orchestrated wars, and sponsored the mass murder and impoverishment of millions. At Rothschild Swiss Bank. It was off that earlier. It really isn't true. Central Island? Central Island, 1913, sir. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but sir, just one thing. We could go on about how, you know, your family committed all these acts against society, but we just want to let you know the New World Order has no legitimacy. Oh, yeah. And that we as a people are not afraid, and we are waking up to the robber barons and the big banks who are looting right. the economy with the Federal Reserve. Well, so as you can see in that short documentary, you know, it gives you the idea of who is in power, you know, those who have kept Jake behind the bars, you know, those who have actually set the bait, you know, these are the people in whose, you know, the Most High has given power right now. If you go through the book of um, Daniel chapter 7, you know, it tells you that feat of, of iron, you know, that's mixed with clay. There are those in power right now, and that's the last, you know, kingdom to, to rule before Yahweh Shai returns, which tells you we are actually at that time, man. So let's get some quick scriptures, you know. First, I would like to get a classic is the book of Job. We're going to get a lot of Job today, you know, because Job actually goes so deep into certain things. And, you know, Job actually represents Israel. So if you're reading the book of Job, you should have the mindset of Job representing Israel, you know. This is the book of Job chapter 9 verse 24, which quotes, the whole earth is in the hands of the wicked. And Yahweh Bashem Yahushai blinds the eyes now. Now let's get the KJV because let's get the KJV because I, I trust more the KJV, which goes the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. Okay. It covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? You know? This kingdom right now, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. That's why you're seeing all things upside down, you know? That's why you're seeing starvation. That's why you're seeing mass killing, mass destruction, you know? Just wicked agendas, you know, the alphabet agendas, and wickedness all over the place, you know? The earth's monets, you know, when the wicked are in power. That's the book of Proverbs, you know, I believe. Anyway, so it gives you an idea, you know, that, you know, the wicked of the earth are the so-called white men, Edomites, you know, the ruling class, the Rothschild, the Oppenheimans, the, 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 the Bowers, you know, they go by the same name. But what they do is, you know, from generation to generation, from time to time, they change their names, you know, to hide their, their identity, you know, just like the book of Genesis tells you, it's a, it's a, it's a family of fugitives, man. They are vagabonds, you know, they hide their identities. And what they do, they cover the faces of the judges who are the real judges of the earth, the sons of Israel, the so-called Negroes, Native Americans and the Latinos. These are the real true judges of the earth, you know, they cover their faces. If not, where and who is he? It's a question you should ask yourself. But through the spirit of the Most High Yahweh Shem Yahushai, the Rukha Kodash, you know, this truth is given, you know, 
those who actually chose those who chose this this key over the bread in which this key represents the bread of life you know they get to know this truth man they get to know what's going on you know and they are not carried away by the rest now let's go back to the book of always job but this time around i'll get the chapter 12 verse 6 this is the book of job chapter 12 verse 6 which quotes the tabernacles of robbers prosper and they that provoke yahweh are secure in whose hand yahweh bring it abundantly yes and that's true you know the tabernacles of the of the robbers which are the so-called wicked people as you saw in the in the video earlier you know they've taken all the gold of the earth they've scammed the world people you know giving you papers as receipts now they've taken out the whole what you should just go look up you know some history regarding the 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 federal reserve you know they are the robbers of the earth they've gone from you know different nations to different nation stripping people off their heritage stripping people off their wealth you know but the most i you know have them in prosper to do all this and the most i um you know have them insecure you know now there is this major questions that comes up in the world if god exists why is he allowing all these things to happen if god truly exists why is he allowing all these things to happen and people that ask these questions are people who don't know this truth man there is a reason for everything in which we're going to get this response you know very soon this is also the book of job oh excuse me yeah this is the book of job chapter 16 verse 11 this is the book of Job 16, 11. It says, Yahweh delivered me to the ungodly and turned me over into the hands of the wicked. You know? I was at ease, but he had broken me asunder. He had also taken me by my neck and shaken me to pieces and set me up for his mark. Ooh, this is deep, man. <laughs> This is deep. I shouldn't go into that, you know. Just go read the book of um, Revelation chapter 13. You know, you know what's going on right there. You know, Marcos, Aurelius, you know. But this is the point we want to get right here. You know, he say, Yahweh has delivered me to the ungodly and turned me over into the hands of the wicked. You know, we were actually at ease, you know. And we got that ease during the reign of um, King Solomon for 40 years to just give you um, a little tip of the iceberg to show you what it means to be when the righteous is at power. But you know, from time to time, Jake is a stiff-necked and blind people who would always worship the gods of the other nations. You know, we were we are a peculiar people. We are set set aside people. We're meant to worship only the Most High Yahweh. Yahweh Shai is the Son who is our mediator to get to Him. You know. But Jake, even now in this kingdom, Jake prefers to go after Cesare Borgia, you know, which is the so-called white image that they have as, as Jesus, you know, which that name is false. So they go after all these false deities of other nations. That is why, you know, you, you are actually given into the hands of the wicked, man. There is a reason behind everything. And the most I actually created is wicked, you know, to put us... To put us back online. But we don't learn, man. And God, the most high Yahweh Shem is still going to destroy these wicked because they were created actually for the day of destruction. You know? First to chasten us. You know? I was at ease, but he had taken, he had broken me asunder. He had also taken me by my neck and shaken me to pieces. And set me up for his mark. Can. You know. Shouldn't say that much anymore. On that. Now we get in the book of Job. You know. This book of Job is really deep man. It's very very deep. 
This is the book of Job chapter 19 verse 7 it quotes, Behold, I cry out of wrong, but I am not heard. I cry aloud, but there is no judgment, you know. He had fenced up my way that I cannot pass, and he had set darkness in my paths. He has stripped me of my glory and taken the crown from my head. You know, he had destroyed me on every side and I am gone. And my hope had he removed like a tree. You know, at the end of the day, it's the most that Yahweh Hashem Yahushai doing all this. But how is it doing it? He's doing it through the wicked, which he, he created. You know, this wicked actually, um, um, ah, there is a word that I'm, I'm forgetting now. Um, they are the rod of the anger of the Most High, you know, when he wants to chasten his sons, you know, because his sons are actually stiff-necked, you know, they are, they are, they are, they are sottish children, you know, they are just likened, even the oxen, you know, and the donkeys are wiser than them, like it's written in the book of um, Isaiah chapter 1 verse 3, you know, we don't consider anything, we don't think, no, so the Most High needs to, you know, bring us always back to our senses you know just like you see here jake having the opportunity you know which is easier for him to just get this key open up and get himself free but he would go for the hardest thing so far this is jake this is the mentality of jake man you know now i told you before there is a reason for everything you know the most i actually created is wicked you know, for certain purpose to be a rod of chastening, chastisement unto us. And also he has created them for the day of wickedness, you know, because the Most High, after everything, he still has mercy on us. He's still going to destroy the wicked. And let's get another scripture from Job. Um, that's Job 21. And it says, Wherefore do the wicked live, become old, yea, a mighty in power? Their seed is established in their sights with them, and their offsprings before their eyes. Their houses are safe from fear, neither is the rod of the Most High Yahweh Shem Yahushai upon them. Their bull gendereth and faileth not, their cow calveth and casteth not a half. They sent forth their little ones like a flock and their children dance, you know. That is what it is, man. This wicked, they are in power. The Most High has actually allowed them, you know. That's why the book of Romans chapter 13, you know, it tells you about not going against the power that be because it's the Most High that kept them in that position, you know. So you, you're, you're only going to be foolish asking such questions that, uh, well, um, if the Most High is alive, it wouldn't allow all these things be. It's going to be a stumbling block for yourself, man. There is a reason for everything, you know? Let's watch this video again. People who are trying to make this world worse are not taking a day off. How can I? The people... The Rothschilds bought Reuters in the 18th... Can, and as you can see, those who are trying to, you know, destroy this world... They're not taking any days off, man. They're not taking any days off. That's a very deep stuff right there, you know? Let's keep watching. In hundreds, Reuters then bought the Associated Press, which selects and delivers the same news stories to the entire world, day after day. They have controlling interest in three major television networks and easily avoid media attention since they own it. Until recently, they owned and operated England's Royal Mint and continue to be the gold agent for the Bank of England, which they also direct. They also fix the world price of gold on a daily basis and profit from its ups and downs. Over the centuries, the Rothschilds have amassed trillions of dollars worth of gold bullion in their subterranean vaults and have cornered the world's gold supply. They own controlling interest in the world's largest oil company, Royal Dutch Shell. They operate phony charities and offshore banking services where the wealth of the black nobility and the Vatican is hidden in secret accounts. The Rothschilds accounts at Rothschild Swiss banks, trusts, and holding companies. 
Although Evelyn Rothschild looks like a harmless gray-haired old man, make no mistake about it. Rothschild and his ancestors have hand-picked presidents, crashed stock markets, bankrupted nations, orchestrated wars, and sponsored the mass murder and impoverishment of millions at Rothschild Swiss Bank. It was off Saturday. The radio isn't true. That's the devil right there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but sorry, just one thing. We could go on about... They are being exposed, you know, but unfortunately, the only people that don't see, that don't know who the wicked is, is Jake's, you know. These are the people that have actually caused all the problems that you're saying. But the only people who don't know that they are the wicked is Jake. Even they themselves, people of their kind, know that they are the wicked, you know. Now, let's get some more scriptures. This is the book of um, Psalm. 17 and 14 this is the book this is the book of psalm 17 14 it says from men which are thy hand o lord yahweh shem yashai from men of this of the world which have their portion in this life and whose belly thou fillest with thy hid treasures they are full of children and leave the rest of their substance to their babies to their babes and this is what's you know they pass their power their their substance from generation to generation but there is a time set forth for everything these people are created for destruction and you'd get to know why you know but you shouldn't get to know why in in the hard way <laughs> you know going through the same destruction because if you follow what this man have you know as you've seen that video right there, it tells you they control the whole media, they control the whole narrative and everything, you know, and you fall for all this, you know, bullshit that they do. If you fall for all this thing, you know, as you can see, man, it's, I don't really know what to tell you, man. So if you're not patient enough to try to set this stick into this O and get this key and you're just all about this, man, you're gone. You're gone. You are gone, man. So this is the book of Proverbs. This is this is one of the reason you know why the most I created these people. You know. This is the answer it gives you. The Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahushai had made all things for himself. Yeah. Even the wicked for the day of evil. Let me read again. The Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahushai hath made all things for himself. Yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. The Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai has created this so called wicked, you know, the banking families, those ruling in this kingdom right now in wickedness. The Most High has created them for a day of evil. And the day of evil is the day Yahushai would return. And before then, the Most High is going to turn the hearts of his allies. They are going to heat our flesh up, man. Through this nuclear um, this um, nuclear bombs, man. They're going to destroy these people, man. America is going to be born to nothing, man. It's going to be America is going to become like a desert, you know. Which America is Babylon the Great. And we know that many parts of the kingdoms are also going to be burnt down, like the Vatican and Italy itself, you know, because they, 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 they're the one who are housing the false prophets, which is the Vatican, you know. They are also going to fall alongside with Babylon. They will all be destroyed by the nuclear bombs, you know. That's why we're seeking the mercy of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, so we are not caught up in all this. Now, imagine, try to think, Jake, you know, still behind his bars trying to get this bread and destruction comes all of a sudden, man. That's a wicked destruction, man. So, hey, we should fear the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahushai and seek him right now while it's still, we can still find him. Because these so-called people, as you see, they control everything, the media, you know. Very soon, they're going to make it impossible for us to post this truth. You know, just like the book of Amos 8, 11 tells you, you know, there's coming a famine of this truth. They're filtering things out. They don't want this truth, man. 
Now let me get you another always going back to the book of Job. This is chapter 21 verse 30. This is the book of Job chapter 21 verse 30. It quotes, it quotes that the wicked is reserved to the day of destruction. They shall be brought forth to the day of wrath. You know, and it says, Who shall declare his way to his face, and who shall repay him what he hath done? Yet shall he be brought to the grave, and shall remain in the tomb. So who can do this? The only person that can do it is Yahweh Ba Shem Shai. Yahweh Ba Shai. You know? So these people are actually reserved they are reserved for the day of destruction they're going all about their business right now you know believing that no one no one can touch them they are untouchable they are they are they are they are, they are what do they call it they are invincible you know but all of a sudden destruction is coming on them man destruction will come on this wicked you know they've committed so much atrocities they think the most is not sane they think the most high is, is wicked the way they are wicked. But the most high is a just is a just judge, man. There is a balance for everything. And Jake should learn from all this situation we've been we've been through. But Jake wouldn't wouldn't think, man, because all Jake is thinking of is this piece of bread, man. Jake wants to be the most successful in this ki uh, in this kingdom, you know. Yahushai tells you to pray for the kingdom of the Most High, Yahweh Shem Yahushai, to come. But Jake wants to find his own paradise in this kingdom, man. Jake wants to find his comfort in this kingdom, in which paradise is also here. But the paradise that is here right now is the paradise for the wicked. Jake wants to find his own, his own piece of the bread in this kingdom, man. In which all Jakes in this mindset are all going to be destroyed. Take a look at this one more. Then I have one last segment to make, you know, in which the last segment is going to be really short. But I think I should stop here. I want to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Waharu Kakudash, my double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations. Shalom.